Douglas, even though she did return in the conference finals, just didn't seem to be the same player. And Sales, even though she just averaged five points per game, was also banged up in the postseason. Lindsay Whalen for three, and that's a great sign. Connecticut had the best record in the regular season a year ago. One and one this year, miss on one, and Douglas fouled and scores on the other. Do you think that's a flagrant one? No, 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 no. And Michael Cooper wants to talk to him at halftime. Hernandez has it swatted away by D'Souza, and Whalen looking to run. Whalen, beautiful ball fake, and scores over McWilliams Franklin. As Sousa closes out, and twice on the pipes, Lindsey Whalen takes it the other direction. Little ball fake. The third quarter for Katie Douglas, and I know I speak for Rebecca and Doris when I say we are glad Katie has not changed her last name to that of her husband, Yapalakis. <laughs> Douglas, much easier to say as Whalen hits the NBA TV Sunday, Phoenix in New York, Chicago, and Minnesota. Minnesota still looking for its first win, open and four. Nice shot there by Whalen. Tough look. I mean, that is just so hard to guard. The dribbles drive so hard, Dave, and then that ability to use them is so dangerous. She has got a unique ability to spin, fade, and still make shots. Now, she does not have great size, and I mean in terms of height, but look at her physically. Very strong upper body, and even with all that leanness, there's still great explosion. Franklin without Michael Cooper as the head coach. Yet lost in the conference finals. Fernandez, the new member of this team as well, and she knocks down a three. How about LA's bounce back after Connecticut's run to get within three? And Mawadi Mabika had a three and then just assisted to make it number six. So Mawadi, every big play, it seems to be Mabika is in it. 20-second timeout. 20 timeout called by Connecticut.